Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, interact with the channel by like, comment, put your favorite flower in the comments. It helps with the algorithm. Let's get to it. Everyone knows I've been doing a general, um, oh my goodness, I can't believe they made a documentary about Kim and Kanye. Yeah, so there is a documentary out there. Probably you'll watch it over the weekend. But when they talk about them being the first family, they probably tried to coin that name for themselves. They're not. When they talk about Kim being a queen, she probably tried to coin that phrase. She not because there's Queen B. So that's why she's trying to take that name. Then Kylie tries to call herself King Kylie. Don't know why that is because they want to be royals so bad. They want their name to be solidified as Americans first family but they're not it's sad about the relationships it's sad about the the divorces and the poor dating situations of, and taking people's men how is that the first family first family respect it open honest help the community help people with their careers they don't take from people they don't culturally appropriate they don't do that so the biggest thing is the other issue is the one sister that speaks up, that's married, that tries to focus on her family. No, they don't like that. They want to drag her. They want to talk about her. They want to take ideas and concepts from their own sister. So what do you think will happen with you <laughs> if they're treating their sister that way? It's right in our faces. And the mom just, whoever makes me the most money. And then in regards to the Kylie situation, and what she presented to Forbes. And I'm surprised the verification department didn't check and double check documents in regards to Kylie. So you figure, you know, we have the Kylie situation, Kylie Tyga, Astro World, this Tory Lane situation. Hello, we have the Kendall allegedly also um, misappropriates and tries to be a cultural vulture, allegedly. Then you have the Kim Kardashian situation, constantly looking for people to help her career, boost her career. You know, her throwing shade at Chloe, her throwing sh shade at Kendall. You know, it's like if she felt bad about Kanye in regards to his mental health, why is the show about 50% about him? Why why aren't they protecting him like they said? Oh, I, I, you know, I don't tell the kids what's going on. You think they're not going to watch the show, show, see the show? You know, he doesn't have a, the platform to rebut, rebuttal anything that's being said. Kanye couldn't rebuttal. Ray J couldn't rebuttal. Black China couldn't rebuttal. None of these people could rebuttal. But they utilize the show to disrespect a whole culture. And nobody's saying nothing. That trips me out. But the biggest thing is, and then we have Chris that's dating Corey. How, what do we know about Corey and his family? Where does he come from? What else is about? Let's see. Um, and then, like I said, the mom, Corey. And then we have Cor Chloe in regards to the Lamar situation. In regards to meeting him, marry him, um, dated him. And he she didn't even know him for, you know, 300 days. And she was already married to him. So... The biggest thing is, and then we have Kim and the Kanye situation. Kim wasn't even divorced yet, and she was pregnant. It took two years because Chris Humphreys fell away. But yeah, she wasn't even divorced yet, and she was dating Kanye. But in all those men she dated, it's interesting how she became pregnant with Kanye's child. And then everyone says that boosts her career. That got her to the billionaire status. And I'm sure they all wanted to try and get to that billionaire status, but Kanye pulled the plug and moved on. So let's listen to this clip. I keep playing it because I'm glad I found this picture. Story on the planet. 
I just... It was the biggest news story on the planet. There was so much at stake in this case. Billion dollar companies, properties all over the country, and four children. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, they are our royal family. The stated reason for the divorce was irreconcilable differences. What we really learned in this case was this was a toxic relationship. What did it tell about his character to fight for his marriage? She had to walk through the fire so that she could be free. Kanye may be a rich and powerful artist, but he's never dealt with something as powerful as the Kardashian legal machine. Over the course of this divorce, Kanye seemed to run through 10 lawyers, maybe more. This was not a guy that was going to take the end of his marriage lying down. I could see in her eyes how much pain this woman is going through. She's absolutely calculating. Sparrow, where is his support? Kanye is completely, utterly alone in the world. It was the biggest news story on the planet. So that's the biggest thing. What wishes to Kanye? He's trying to figure it out with his new wife. We see the, still the gaslighting. Her either trying to look like Kanye's new wife, them talking about him on the show. Now this documentary comes out. I'm wondering if they come back after this documentary is out. I don't think that they put out the documentary because Kanye's friend is there speaking out for him. I think this is just a project that was out there because it was such a toxic year last year. It was a toxic year. But this is the biggest thing that people don't talk about. Kanye's dated four women. <laughs> he, he had basically moved on. He had dated four women. The model, Shani Jones. He had dated Julia Fox. And he dated somebody else. But he's dated other women in regards to trying to make it work. But he, he knew it wasn't going to work. So he moved on with well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the K's and the J's trying to call themselves the first family. This is probably a title they put out and we don't agree. Many people don't agree. They always try and normalize stuff that we see and be like, no, trying to normalize the tape, trying to normalize, try and say you're the first family. You're not trying to normalize unhealthy relationships. Why would a mom want her daughter to be around a man that cheated and embarrassed her so much? And then I check on my old video from last month. Chloe said that I've, um, how do you feel about being in a family? It's almost like a mob. You can't get out. How do you feel about, you know, Kanye's never leaving. Scott's never leaving. I guess that means you're never leaving. He said, no, that means you're never leaving me because they look at Tristan as celebrity, a golden ticket to continue the toxicity. That's the sad part. Reality shows can show a very toxic side, unhealthy relationships. There's so much has gone on, you know, well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the K's and the J's. This documentary, try and maybe watch it over the weekend. I've just been finding different clips and different pictures that kind of associate with. And we're going to see how strongly it's based supporting Kim, how strongly it's based to support Kanye. But I'm glad somebody did it. They may. Hopefully, they'll do a documentary number two in regards to the gaslighting, in regards to the unhealthy relationships. So we'll see. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to show the other pictures. How is it a first family, a girl wearing a noose necklace? Unacceptable. A girl throwing Astro World party? Unacceptable. A girl saying the only KKK that's accepted in our family is the black men. How That's unacceptable. So that's the biggest thing. Last month, Kylie was in uh, like blackface, bigger lips, bigger nose, bigger face trying to pay to play Tory Lane's music. So something's going on with her. Is, is Kylie okay? Is Kim okay? Is Chloe okay? <laughs> is Kendall okay? You know, the only one that seems, you know, to be trying to cut from the path, path of is Courtney and they don't support Courtney. So that's weird to me. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment and subscribe. Everyone have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, 
interact with the channel. It'll help my channel grow.